can feel it. Three real estate agents compete for a chance to sell a home in the very hot San Diego market. It could get ugly. They're making mega money. They need to step it up. It could get awkward. <sighs> you win. But it's bound to be tons of fun because only one agent can win this listing. Because there's such low inventory and yet high demand, the San Diego housing market has become a dream for home sellers. Today, we meet Nancy and Danny Fiendaka, a fun and vivacious couple of 30 years living in Mount Helix. 30 years ago, she was a one night stand that never went on. I have not left. <laughs> <laughs> the Fiendakas are ready for their next adventure and want to downsize. So we've pretty much been joined at the hip for 30 years because we've been self-employed and we've worked at the same jobs together 100%. So we're thinking, let's see what happens if we give each other some space, different lifestyles. I want to travel. She is a homebody. So she's going to continue to work and stay I'm not here changing and, anything. And not do anything different. And I'm going to see if I want to RV across America or go to my sister's vineyard in Arizona and, and work it like a farmer. Here's the prize. The Fiendakas bought the house back in September of 2007 for 660000 This home is located in the beautiful, woodsy Mount Helix La Mesa area of San Diego. It's gorgeous. Vaulted ceilings, three levels with three bedrooms, three bathrooms, large living spaces, and a sweet pool. And as you can tell, the Fiendakas have decorated a surfer's paradise. But that Nancy is a tough customer and a harsh critic of real estate agents. Our point is, is we've never been impressed by anybody. It would be one thing if they were like getting, you know, $500 for every uh, uh, showing. But they're making mega money. So I think that they need to step it up in the category of the seller. Fortunately, on when this listing, we handpick vetted agents who, believe me, know their stuff. Ricky, the straight shooter, Silver. Sonia, the hustler, Azizi. And Frank, the surfer, Carpenter. Ricky Silver is a great agent, but he's a millennial who speaks his mind. Don't believe me? Check it out. I'm different from the other agents because I just don't care. Damn, what did he just say? <laughs> No, I mean, that's not the soundbite I was going for. I mean, I'm different from the other agents because because while I would like to win this listing, I don't care if I don't win it because they felt a stronger connection to somebody else or somebody else overpriced it. I mean, I think my advantage always is just that I'm super real about everything. I mean, it, you know, what you see is what you get. So, you know, I'm not putting on airs to win the show or, you know, doing anything different than I would normally do. I mean, basically my listing presentation is a conversation. So, you know, either we connect or we don't and either way is fine with me. Sonia is a single mom, but she's a major hustler. I have a lot of respect for her. I'm a single mom. I have two little girls, uh, Layla and Brooklyn, and I just, I do this for them and I'm passionate. I come in every day and I work harder than most people. I show up, I wake up at 5 a.m., I have a routine, I have a system, and I think when I meet people, they see how genuine I am about and how passionate I am about this job, but really at the end of the day, that's my little empire. You're the only female agent and our homeowners are both women. Do you think you have any advantage there? No, no, I want them to see that for themselves. I don't want to mention or say anything like, hey, pick me, women stick together type thing. I want them to see it for themselves. I want to earn their business. And Frank Carpenter is a consummate real estate professional, someone you can trust. I've been doing real estate for 10 years and I've done over 250 transactions. I can win this listing because I have a lot of experience. I know this area very well, but I think I'll win this listing because of my experience in marketing a building. Um, one thing about me that, that I'm different than other agents is I love socializing with people. You're not going to find me panning you off to someone. I love socializing with people, hanging out with people, and doing what's right for them, not what's right for my walls as I'm trying to build my company. I want to do what's right for actually the people, and I love doing that in this environment. It's time for each of our agents to walk through their home and assess the condition, then meet the homeowners. The agents get to know what the Fiendakas want before they formally present when we come back two weeks from now. I feel like I could just die here right now.
Thanks for making that awkward. <laughs> well, first impressions are everything, so let's see how the agents do. The Fiendakas want to sell their home for as much as possible while doing as little as possible to the home. When's your timeline that you guys are thinking about selling? We are open to sell right now. We can sell. We'd love to just sell it as is. This house is in, you know, fairly great shape. Yes. It's all original. Yeah. And it was built in 1980. Basically, we haven't done to this house. And we don't want to do to this house. Capiche? So we have the original bathrooms, original kitchens. I go all out. I mean, it's just when you do your job, I mean, do your job, um, you know, and do it right. So in the big box situation, what things would you in your mind right now that you're thinking that you think should go? I want people to walk in and it just be open. Okay. Just open. There's an extra chair or extra table, extra sofa, or if the sofa is too big and we think that we want to have more space, we'll just get you, you know, a that's where... Seat. <laughs> just get you a love seat and two chairs. Okay. So the rule yeah. of thumb is you'd want to come in and sort of depersonalize the house, but I think actually in this case, and you know, this is a very specific use case, that your style of furniture and decoration accentuates what this house is. Mm -hmm. And so my opinion is that ahead, the man. stuff that you have in here is a, is a benefit. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Ooh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. These are all my listings that were someone else's agent that listed before me in my photos. See how they're so much different? I do twilight photos that make them pop. You know, you've got a lot of surfboards. I love it. It's, I love the whole theme. I know I mentioned that a couple times. It's different. This is a big house with big walls right. and high ceilings. And the more of that stuff you take out of here, right. the Less the becomes. more sparse the home is going to show. And I don't think that that will help generate those emotional responses that we're looking for in awesome. somebody. I wouldn't say this to every homeowner in every home, you know, because every situation is different. But sure. for this house, in this situation, I wouldn't touch anything. Oh, I like that answer. Time to check in with the Fiendakas and see what they're thinking about these agents. Well, we already know who we chose, so it's all good. Oh, no. <laughs> Not already. Oh, yeah. Um, who's in the lead right now? Well, do we want to call him? Yeah, we do. Dick. Dick Silver? Put that on I'm pretty that. sure that's going to get cut. <laughs> he didn't need anything. He knew he got it immediately. He got the vibe of the house. He understood um, that the area is not something you can comp by looking at numbers on a piece of paper. He gets it. You have to see it. Who would be second? Um, Sonia. Sonia? Yeah. Except for I was um, not thrilled about the big box idea. No, but she's open to the whole idea of whatever works for us. Sure. Frank is is typical of what I see in agents. Okay, how so? For I've... him, everything is comps. For him, everything in his world is take the right pictures and, and, and read the right piece of paper. Well, it was a hot day in La Mesa today. We had a great time with our homeowners. They're a blast. Uh, it's still anybody's game, even though Ricky might be in the lead. The presentations and the numbers, I think, will dictate. Stick around for more when this listing coming right up. Well, the Fiendakas really like Ricky, but we're just getting started. Stick around. You might be surprised what happens next. Ricky Silber, Sonia Azizi, and Frank Carpenter, three of San Diego's top real estate agents are battling for the Fiendakas charming home in Mount Helix. Inventory is low, demand is high, and it's anyone's game. Well, it's been two weeks since the initial walkthroughs and the agents are armed and ready with their presentations. Ricky, you're up first. Ricky is definitely in the lead here. He suggested no staging and the Fiendakas loved it. As you may well already know, the homeowners have a soft spot for you. And they've in fact gone as far as to say that this is your listing to lose today. Well, let's try not to. Let's try not to do let's that. Let's try not to do that. <laughs> You cannot meaningfully describe this house as it, in terms of it being the sum of its MLS fields. What you need is for people to you know, feel the same emotional attachment for this house that you felt when you came here. And the way to do that is to bring a ton of people through this house. You know, the best case scenario is that you price low enough that people think it's a deal. And want to come up. And want to come up. And you can see that in the way that the big banks handle their REO inventory. Because if you overprice in a seller's market, you just won't get the showings. And a house like this is going to be very difficult to describe and we in need an a lot MLS. of people they to, have to see, see it. it. You need a lot of people we to see this house. We need a lot of people house. to see this house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, Ricky, they like everything you've had to say, but 
What about the listing price? I can tell you that it is difficult to comp a house out here because these are, you know, this is not a track development. You're stalling, Ricky. You know, right. these are all custom homes. They're all large. You know, even within the same sort of square footage of a house, you have all these different configurations. You're stalling. And so, you know, my recommendation in terms of positioning, not pricing, but positioning this house would be to list it at 680. I'm sorry, how much? Oh! Did not see that coming. I knew you didn't. I knew you wouldn't. Wow. I knew you wouldn't see that coming. I want to make sure that people come and see this house. I would be doing you a major disservice if I said that to you. Oh, Ricky, you had it, man. Ricky was saying all the right things until the price came up. I think you might actually be on the chopping block now. And now Sonia comes in excited to share her renovation and marketing plan with the Fiendakas. I'm gonna try to make this fun and quick and not so damn boring. <laughs> the importance of pictures and photography and videos. Just fall in love with it immediately. Fall in love with it immediately. Bring him in here. Get people to come in and see the house for what it is. Mm -hmm. It's so important mm -hmm. to have quality. Okay. Um, it's huge because it shows, you know, hey, you know, this house is serious. We need to we spend some money. It is. We got it, five colors. This is a luxury property. This is a really nice house. It deserves luxury brochures and flyers. Well put. If we want to renovate some stuff, um, if you're open to it, of course. So I thought, hey, you know, if we want to put in new carpets, we want to redo the kitchen or whatever it is. And a lot of people are like, look, I don't want to spend that much money. Like, it's just, can we just sell it the way it is? It makes a huge difference, you know, just to do a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether it's just doing a touch-up paint to replacing, getting some of the carpets, I guess, from the bathroom. Especially just this stuff. down here. Yeah, and this is such a unique home. Like, it's going to be so much fun just, you know, putting all that stuff together. And uh, same thing. We just did changed some laminate. Changed out the furniture. Changed out the furniture. Put, put in, some color on the wall. Put some wall. color on the walls. And I had an offer the first week. This was sitting here for a month and a half. It's the same house. And then after I did this, I did the marketing all over again. I sent out the flyers. I did everything all over again. <laughs> and we got an offer the first week. So just for doing that, does it even look like the same house? Oh, that's interesting. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. And this, it's, it's pending now. You guys can look it up. <clears throat> I don't think it's a good idea like, to put in new carpet because if a new person comes in and the, all, the first thing they're going to do is replace the carpet, we've wasted money on carpet. But I can see the benefit of what you did there. Yeah, I can see it too. Right. Especially in a room like this. Yep. The carpet's trash. I was wrong. Uh, I can see the benefit of what you've done there. Wow. Sonia has managed to change their minds about renovating, which is huge because they were so against it to begin with. But the ladies have one more presentation to hear. When we come back, we'll hear from Frank Carpenter and the first round of eliminations. You might be surprised who gets taken out first. With a 125-year legacy of integrity, service, and leadership, First American Title Insurance Company combines in-depth knowledge of the San Diego market with the national reach and strength of one of the largest title insurers in the U.S. First American Title's experienced team in San Diego pride themselves in providing the highest quality customer service and products to local real estate professionals, including comprehensive title insurance coverage and professional services for real estate purchases, construction, refinances, and equity loans. For more information, visit firstam.com slash title. That's firstam.com slash title. Welcome back to Win This Listing. Sonia Azizi and Ricky Silber have made their pitches, and now Frank Carpenter is up. Frank was dead last after the initial walkthroughs. The Fiendakas did not like what he had to say, so he's got a pretty big mountain to climb here. We do the photos at the sunset. We do the drone showing that. We do the, the photos over here on the deck at twilight, getting the twilight, showing the sunsets. So we really try to hit that up and really highlight, I mean, that pool lit up showing all the, the lights coming off and the couches right behind it, that this is where I want to come. With me, it's always me who you get to talk to, which is great. We share the same vision. Anything I talk about is what's going to happen because I'm not brushing you off to someone else that's on my team or whatever. It's all about me. So it allows me to do a lot more things being the owner of my own company. It makes me very accountable too. Uh, I have a an issue with dual agencies. Um, I've, I've used, used it from both sides, being a seller and being a buyer. 
how would you feel if you were if if I said no to you that oh. I don't want you to do that? I'm I have not going to accept. I have it. no problems with that at all. And okay. the reason why I don't is I think your experience and what I feel you have is the same as me. I believe in specialization. I should specialize on who my contract is with. Right. Is with that individual. And the other thing about me is I'm trying to build my company, not my wallet. What I try to do is everything, as you know, is customer satisfaction and everything from the Zillow to the Yelp reviews is because I'm trying to build my company and I want everyone happy and what I do is very important to me. So my price that I'd like to do it at is $850,000. <laughs> Coming in high and then starting to drop the price makes me a little nervous. I like eight fifty. dollars Come again? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. That's my price, but I want to hit it. You mean hit eight fifty like this? Oh, you mean you could sell it for 850? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. And I think if we start at 850, we will, won't, won't get enough it. people to see the house. I think we'll miss a market of people that would would have come at a lower price. So that I'm glad you actually told me that because each person likes to do their own thing. And and it's not about my decision. Right. It, it, we're now a team or whatever. We can exactly. become a team and we work together on what's smart, you know. And if it's something that you guys whether it's, you know, the price whether it's the photos we took or whatever, we don't like them, we change them. You know, and that's huge as working together with that point. Just because I said that price, I think we can get that, that and that's what I want to list it. We haven't even started anything yet. It's all about working together. Well, this just got interesting, didn't it? Well, Frank seems to have made up some ground here, but there's only one way to find out. Somebody's got to go. The first round of eliminations coming up. Oh hey, what's up guys? Derek Evans here from Win This Listing. Buying a home in a hot market like this one can be really difficult, but it can be made especially difficult if you don't have a great lender. At Win This Listing, we recommend Sean Cahan, the mortgage geek. He knows everything there is to know about mortgages, works more and harder than anyone I've ever seen. If you want to buy a home or refinance your current home, call Sean Cahan, the mortgage geek. He'll take care of you like nobody else will. So while the Fiendakas were deciding who to eliminate, we decided to have a little fun with one of our interns. All right, so one of our crew members is Lucy, and she's like deathly afraid of being abducted by aliens. She dreams about it all the time. So we're gonna scare her a little bit today. Uh, I'm gonna sneak up on her and do this. <laughs> okay, tell me where to go. Yeah, you know I'm ready. Okay. Recording. People don't drink enough beer. They surprise us with donuts and beer and crazy salad. <laughs> She's too responsible. She didn't want to. Yes, that's totally what happened. I was way too responsible. I got scared, but I was like, <laughs> All right, we're standing in front of the Fiendaka's house right now here in Mount Helix, and it's time to talk to the inspector. Of course, when this listing, we always have these homes inspected, or at least look through by an inspector, because the truth is. Whoever gets the inspection done has the advantage when it comes to negotiating. We want these homeowners to know if there's anything majorly wrong or anything the real estate agents might point out that they may have to deal with later. I've seen them going through the house. Uh, I know they've been looking at a lot of things. This house is a little dated. So I'm a little bit worried about what they might have to say about this place, but let's go see. Tell me the news. Well, um, furnace is new, but the water heater is an original, or not original, but a much older unit. One of the sinks upstairs, uh, the cold water is shut off, which would indicate that that faucet is probably leaking. A loose toilet, which is another potential for a leak in the master bathroom. But again, these are all minor issues. All right, uh, so overall, not bad. Not bad. For a home this age. Absolutely. Nothing majorly sticking out that's no. going to be horrible for us. No. All right, great news, Ken. Thank you so much for your You're time. very welcome, really my appreciate pleasure. appreciate it. Woo! All right, guys, this is the time. The time that nobody likes about the show. Somebody's gotta go. One person has gotta be eliminated at this point. Um, I do wanna say thank you to all three of you. You all did an amazing job. Uh, the homeowners are very impressed by everybody. Um, Sonia, they were super impressed by your uh, marketability, the things that you brought to the table, the, things, the way that you were gonna market the property. Uh, they were very, very impressed by that. Blew them away, in fact. Ricky, they loved you from day one. And from the moment you walked in the door and sat down with them, they've been in love with you ever since. Frank, they really 
think that you believe in this property. They think that you have something in your heart for this property. So I know that no matter who they have decided to eliminate, it was a very difficult decision for them. Ricky, you're safe. Not cool. Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, Frank and Sona, it has come time uh, for one of you to be eliminated from the show. And there's no easy way to say it, Sonia. You've been eliminated. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, it's okay. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. What? Not Sonia. She did such a good job. She's such a good person. <laughs> I love Sonia. I Sonia. Team Sonia. Well, Ricky the straight shooter and Frank the surfer are left standing after the first round of eliminations. They'll each have 60 seconds to sell the Fiendakas on why they should win this listing. Well, I'm very excited, guys. We're one step closer. I've got a great vision for this property. I hope everything works out pretty good. I've got a lot of concerns about it being good with the photos we can do and the marketing and stuff. So I'm really excited to move this much forward. And I think we'll do really good with this property. I like a lot of things about it. And this is kind of my whole bread and butter is the Mesa area. Frank, you got 39 seconds left, buddy. Only two seconds left, Frank. Ultimately, I want you guys to do what's best for you. And, and sometimes in a listing presentation, that means that I do win, and sometimes that means that I don't win, and either way is fine with me. I think that you guys are in a much tougher position than I am, and I would just implore you to think about who you feel like gave you the most authentic thought that they were going to be the ones to have your back the most because that's the most important. I mean, we had three really great real estate agents here and I don't think you could have made a mistake with anybody. So ultimately, you know, you should go with your heart on this one. Ricky, do you want to win this listing? Sell, brother, sell, 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 sell. Well, it's time to cut throats with the final elimination. Winner gets to list the Fiendaka's 2,000 square foot three-story home in Mount Helix, a unique home in the quiet woodsy area of La Mesa. Nancy and Danny have said that they want the winner to jump in the pool after announced. So Ricky, Frank, grab your Speedos. All right, Ricky, Frank, uh, per Nancy and Danny's uh, request, the winner is going to be jumping into the pool. At this point, someone's got to be eliminated and someone's got to win this listing. Ricky, from the very beginning, Nancy and Danny have really had a soft spot for you. They really like you. Your marketing strategy is a little, little different than what they were expecting listing the price for very aggressively, trying to get a lot of people to it so you can hopefully drive it up to the number that they're really looking for. Frank, you've shown a lot of love for this property. You really believe in this property. Uh, you think this property is worth, worth a lot of money. And I think that that has definitely allowed you to be here in the final elimination. But only one person can win this listing. And that person is... Man, tough decision. So who would you choose? Would you choose Frank, the surfer carpenter who wants to sell this place for $850,000? Or would you choose Ricky, the straight shooter, Silver, who thinks this place is worth six eighty, dollars or at least it should be priced there to start? This is a tough decision, and I'm glad I'm not the one who has to make it. Frank. You win this listing. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. We're in the pool, guys. So I really, really, really feel like I um, got the best agent that was available for me. He really came through with having a game plan for getting a price that we were looking for. And he seemed very confident this time around that um, his resources were going to play and they were really going to bring us in the number we're looking for. Wow, big congratulations to Frank Carpenter. Huge win, literally zero to hero. He did a great job winning over the Fiendakas, and I can't wait to see 
what happens when he sells this house. And there's one more thing that we just have to show you about this episode. Check it out. Okay, okay so there's one. Oh, there they go. Oh, yeah. Payback is a He's got his clothes on. That's what you get for being an alien. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, his shoes, his shoes, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, it's 84 degrees. It yeah. should feel good. Right. Clothes on, well, everyone's dying to know what happened. Did Frank sell this place for 850000 No. No, he didn't. Frank actually quit. After the home dropped out of escrow at the 11th hour, he gave up the gig entirely, leaving all of us completely bewildered. But Here's the twist. Remember Sonia? She was the first agent eliminated. She did not win this listing, but she sold this house. After Frank quit, the Fiendakas spoke with both Ricky and Sonia. They ended up going with Sonia to list the property. They made the small improvements she requested and the home sold for $732,000, just slightly higher than she expected. Let's see what Sonia has to say about this amazing comeback and huge turn of events. Okay, I really hate to lose, so, um you know, six months down the line since I've been tracking this home down, it found out that it fell through. So I wanted to reach out to them to find out exactly what had happened and see if I can get myself in there for another interview, a chance to, you know, win them over again and just do things right. So I sat down with the lovely Nancy and we shed some tears and she told me how stressful this whole situation was and I wanted to make things right. So what I told her is like, just please trust me on this. Let me handle it the way that I know how, we will get through this together. We went ahead and uh, agreed to everything I suggested in our first presentation, which was to get some things repaired, uh, some just minor stuff, and get it staged, of course. And I'm happy to say that we got it sold within a week. Real estate can be extremely complicated. You wanna hire a professional like myself and just let us take the driver's seat. We know what we're doing and just trust us and we'll get the job done. Definitely the craziest thing we've ever seen on Win This Listing, but we still got the home sold for top dollar. Huge kudos to Sonia, who was eliminated first but didn't give up. Sonia, you're a champ in my book. Well, that's a wrap, but our work is not done. If you're looking to sell your home and you'd like to be on the show, go to www.winthislisting.com slash casting hyphen call or email me at Derek at winthislisting.com. It's time for us to help another family sell their home for top dollar. Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you next time.